all day long, starting this morning about 6 o'clock. Um, text messages or phone calls. The first one this morning made me cry. Um, because she was talking. She just called to tell me thank you. Today makes them think of self. While it's not in a swing state, and it's an hour drive from anywhere, Selma, Alabama is one of the emotional centers of the civil rights movement. The latest chapter was written last night, and Barack Obama mentioned the town when he told the story of a 106-year-old voter. She was there for the buses in Montgomery, the hoses in Birmingham, a bridge in Selma, and a preacher from Atlanta who told the people that we shall overcome, yes we can. That bridge is the Edmund Pettus Bridge. It was here, during the culmination of the struggle for voting rights, that marchers were severely beaten on a day known as Bloody Sunday. Watching the election results in the bridge's shadow is a unique lens to see the potential gravity of this moment. The voting rights struggle resulted in victory. That's why we, we have kept going for the last 43 years. This kind of election will give the community that kind of victory that will keep them going. Obama! You got that right. <laughs> Joanne Bland was on the bridge in 1965. She was there again last February, when Mr. Obama visited during a commemoration and reenactment of the event. She asked that I walk across the bridge with him. As we walked, I told the story of the day, I said, and it was right along here that I saw the policeman, the line of policemen. Have a vision of an America. My television has not left the um, news channels for the past six weeks, okay? 24-7, um, we sleep with it on. My granddaughter lives with me and she's like, Nana. <laughs> the act of voting has a special resonance in Selma, none more so than for Miss Bland. At the polling station, she was a mix of hope and anxiety. The latter had caused a sleepless night. I can't wait till I vote and go back home and go to sleep. <laughs> Up and down the line, it was a similar combination. Hopeful, but nervous about a variety of things. I prayed a lot about it because I have a lot of doubt, but I'm still praying for him that if he makes it, that he will be safe. Because <laughs> I would hate for something to happen to him, a young man. And, and a young family, so I pray that things go well for him. I'm a little apprehensive a little bit because I understand the system here in our country. You ain't no telling what may happen between now and the time of the, of the end of the election. Are you confident about tonight? I don't know. I don't really know. I hope. I don't think we have taken care of the issue of racial When night fell, the previous days had taken their toll on Miss Bland. She stopped by a party, but soon headed home to watch with her granddaughter. Mr. Obama seemed destined for victory, but she was still edgy, questioning how much could really change in Alabama. We have people still fighting the Civil War here, so period. When it became official, the moment overcame her. Barack Obama is projected to be the next president of the United States of America. Listen to the crowd at Grant Park in Chicago. Oh my God. Oh, I know that's going to be me in a few minutes. Look, Jay. Don't make me cry, Bill. Oh! <laughs> 